Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here, and today I'm going to make a couple of mirrors using this mold here. Now the one's a honeycomb with a couple of bees, and the other is a flower. So I had some leftover resin from another project, and I decided to go ahead and start these mirrors because I'm actually going to fill in my bees first. So the little bit of resin I had left over is perfect for starting this project. I went through my supplies, picked out a few things that I thought that I would use. As you can see, they're laid out in front of me. I try to do this with every project before I start, just so I have, you know, an idea of where I'm going to go. Now that doesn't mean that I stay with what I pick out because quite often I change my mind at the last minute but at least it gives me an idea of where to start so like I said I'm gonna start with my bees I am just using um, this cheap eyeshadow brush to uh, paint in my micas on the bees I started with the yellow there that was um it's called bumblebee from glitter chimp and this white this is a really pretty white it's got like a gold shift to it and that is from Re um, amazon this mold is a let's resin mold that i also got off of amazon now this black is a charcoal black i'm coming in here and finishing these bees you can see that Painting your, your micas into your mold can kind of get messy. I'll show you how I clean that up when I'm done here. So I will have all of my supplies listed in the description below along with where I got them. So be sure to check that out. So once I finish painting my bees, I will come in here with some um is a clear packing tape and get off that mica that that flicked everywhere so see here i've got my tape and the tape will not damage your mold and i'm getting off what i can with that tape and then i will come in with an alcohol wipe and clean the rest of it off So like I said, I'm starting with these bees, but I am going to go ahead and paint the honeycomb part of this. I'm just not going to pour it right now. So once I get all that cleaned off, I'm going to use some, it's called Burnt Honeycomb. It's by Art Tree Creations, and it's just a really pretty golden color. And again, I'm just using that makeup brush to paint the tops of my honeycomb. I will do this all the way around. Just the honeycomb part, not the middle, because that's where I'm going to put the mirror. So, of course, you're not going to see that anyway. So, once I get this painted on here I will come back in with some tape and an alcohol wipe to clean off any extra that got flicked anywhere that I didn't want it and once that's done I'm going to use my resin that I have and just fill in the B part of this mold just my two B's and it's just clear resin like I said I had left over from another project I'm just filling up my bees and I will let them cure before finishing this the honeycomb part so while that's curing I am going to go ahead and start the flower one I am using some this mica is from Unicone Art. I got it off of Amazon. It is Enchanted Orchard. And it's just, it's a really, really pretty like magenta. Um, and it kind of has like a 
blue shift to it. Again, using this makeup brush to just paint it on the leaf petals in this flower. I will come back with the tape and alcohol wipe and get off what I can of the mica that got where I didn't want it. Once I have that done, I'm going to let this set for those bees to cure. And then I'm going to fill up the rest of the mold. So for the honeycomb here, I'm just using some yellow resin dye and this sunshine glitter. Mixed it in my resin and filling in this mold. I went around the outside edges filling that up before coming to the middle to finish filling the mold. My flower, I will do the same thing, go around the outside edges, fill that up before coming to the middle to finish filling the mold. Now this color is a, it's called Green Dragon. It's from Art Tree Creations and it's a really, really pretty, like a dark green blue color. So once my molds are filled up, I'll hit it with my heat gun to get any bubbles. You don't want to use your torch on silicone molds. You run the risk of not only damaging the mold, but your piece too. Cover it, let it set for 24 hours before demolding. So demolding, you just kind of work around the edges, loosen those up, and then pull your piece right out of there. So I'm looking at this and trying to decide, do I like it or not? You know, at first I really wasn't fond of it. Um, especially the, the B one. I just thought it was missing something. So I decided to, I mixed up a little bit of resin and I'm going to fill, kind of fill in those honeycombs. So into my resin, I've got some, I've got some gold alcohol ink mixed with that golden mica powder and then some yellow glitter. That yellow glitter is just a combination of different yellows that I had that I just made my own mixture. And I'm just pouring it in the honeycomb parts, um trying to decide if I like it or not. I decide just to go with it. Uh, I just thought this needed something a little extra. So I'm going to pour a little bit into these spots, come back with my stick, kind of push it around. I'm not completely filling these holes up, just enough to cover the bottom. And then I will leave it set to dry or to cure. So this part, like I said, I wasn't sure on actually either one of them, you know, if I, if I liked them or not. Um, but they have grown on me. I think they're super cute. I am glad that I added that little extra something on the bead of those honeycombs. Um, and yeah, they just, they've grown on me and I, I really do like them. So to put the mirrors in, the mirrors came with the mold. And I'm just using some super glue, smearing that all over the back before I stick it down in there. I'm going to use a napkin to kind of push it down in there and get any extra glue that pushes to the side. Now these would be too big to kind of put to put in a purse, but they would look super cute laying, you know, on your dresser or maybe in a little stand on your desk, which I'll have pictures of them in stands at the end here, and I think they're super cute. This B1 has really, really grown on me. I really like it, and like I said, I'm glad I put that little extra in there. But yeah, so that's it for this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, 
See ya.